Enzo Maresca's Chelsea debut against Manchester City was always going to be a baptism by fire, but there were definitely some positives to take away from the performance. The Blues gave City a run for their money for most of the 90 minutes, which is no easy feat however. Let's keep things in perspective, City weren't exactly at full strength, so we shouldn't get too carried away. But despite the decent performance, there are still some major issues that Maresca needs to address ASAP. First and foremost, he needs to figure out how to get the best out of Cole Palmer and Christopher Nkunku. Playing them out wide isn't doing either of them any favors, they're both players who thrive in central areas. Palmer's shown last season that he deserves a regular spot in the number 10 role, where he can dictate the pace of the game and create chances for his teammates. His vision, passing range, and control make him a nightmare for opposing defenders, but only when he's playing in his natural position. But how do you fit Nkunku in? He's another player who's most effective in a central position, but with Palmer already occupying that space, it's a tricky conundrum. Nkunku's pace, skill, and finishing ability make him a lethal weapon, but he's been wasted out wide so far. It's a problem that Moresca needs to solve quickly, because we can't afford to have two of our most talented players underutilized. And let's be real, it's not just a matter of finding a way to fit both players in, it's also about recognizing that we've got a squad building problem on our hands. We've got too many players fighting for the same positions, and not enough depth in other areas. It's a good problem to have in theory, but in reality, it's a headache for Moresca to deal with. We need to start thinking about how we can create a more balanced squad, because right now, we're too top-heavy. And then there's the goalkeeping situation. Robert Sanchez just isn't cutting it at this level. Sure, he's got some decent passing skills, but his decision-making is suspect at best. He puts his team under unnecessary pressure with his antics, and let's be real, he should have done better with Mateo Kovacic's long-range effort. That goal was a killer blow, and it's hard to see how Sanchez can regain his confidence after that mistake. He's had a few decent games, but overall, he's been a liability. Philip Jorgensen needs to be given a chance, if he performs well in the Conference League qualifier against Servette, he should be the one starting against Wolves next. It's time for a change between the sticks, and Jorgensen's the obvious choice. He's got the experience, the skills, and the composure to be a top-level goalkeeper. Let's hope Moresca sees it that way too. Another issue is that Fernandez is not a number 10, it's time to accept it, we saw it last season, and it was evident again against Manchester City, Fernandez just doesn't have the skill set to play as a number 10. He stays too high up the pitch, fails to play in the pocket, and his first touch is often atrocious. It's puzzling that Moresca would try to force him into this role when we have players like Palmer and Kunku who are natural fits. Fernandez's strengths lie elsewhere, and it's time to stop trying to shoehorn him into a position that doesn't suit him. We also saw Fofana's rusty return, it's unfair to be too harsh on Fofana after a lengthy injury layoff, but it's clear he's not up to speed yet. He was caught out of position for Holland's opener and gave the ball away leading up to the second goal. However, there's potential for a strong partnership with Levi Colwill, they just need minutes on the pitch. Fofana's got the physicality and reading of the game to be a top-level centre-back, but he needs to shake off the rust. Lastly, Sterling's statement exposes deeper squad issues. Raheem Sterling's public statement may not have been ideal, but it highlights a bigger problem, too many unhappy players. Ben Chilwell's already been told to leave, Carney Chukwamek has been informed he's not part of Moresca's plans, and Trevo Chalaba and Raheem Sterling are training away from the senior team. It's a mess. We need to cut down the numbers before the transfer deadline on August 30th. Moresca's got a tough job ahead of him to trim the fat and create a cohesive squad. It's time for some tough decisions and a clear direction for the club.